I'm Craig Martell. This is Michael Anderley. Welcome to 20 Books Vegas. As with all things, we've got to do the safety brief first. If there's a fire alarm, there are no uh, tests scheduled this week. So if we get a fire alarm, that means there's a fire. Get the hell out. And, and don't dawdle. Grab your stuff and go. Was that it? I, I, actually, yeah, I actually prepared a, a, a brief today. <laughs> 20 books of 50K started as a premise of an adequate retirement, enough to live comfortably in a low-cost place. A rising, a rising tide lifts all boats, an attitude that we are better together. Combine these philosophies, and you get the evolution of the group that is 20 books of 50K. Michael Anderley and I are driven to give back to the community that has been both supportive and hostile. <clears throat> yes, hostile, because if it weren't for that, Michael would have never started the group. There was no need to get in arguments and fire back. We care about looking forward through the windshield and not through the rearview mirror. There's nothing back there except the people who said it couldn't be done. Here we are today, standing in a room of giants. A thousand fellow authors with a massive gathering of industry providers, here solely for you, the indies. Nearly 200 of you are making full-time money. And there are a couple hundred who have yet to publish a book with all manner of authors in between. And there's a single thread that ties us all together, and that's success. It's a word that we define each in our own way. Our destinations are as different as the paths we take to get there. 20 Books of 50K is a smorgasbord from which you pick and choose to build your way forward. If you're here because you want to be successful, raise your hand. ethically and reasonably with our, within our own capacity to perform. You don't have to like all the things you need to do as an indie, but you have to do them. They can be insurmountable obstacles if you don't know what to do. It's yet another reason why we're here, to fill in the gaps in our stepping stones up the mountain of success. It's a beautiful view during the climb. It's also great to look back every now and then, see how far you've come. See how many people are down the hill struggling to take their next step. We challenge everyone to reach a hand back and help the next author take just one more step. Michael and I never set out to change the world, but when it looked like we could, we changed our goals. With every author who does better today than yesterday, we win. We, as in all of us. You're here because you want to change for the better, improve your own life, Improve the lives of your families. Change the lives of those sitting around you. All it takes to change the world is to change one other person's life for the better. One today, then another one tomorrow. How does it make you feel when you've helped out? Don't give them a fish. Teach them to fish. 20 books to 50K. That's why we do what we do. But it starts with you. Embrace the attitude that helping others is a way to help yourself. Look for opportunities to learn and opportunities to share. Take care of yourself first and then reach a hand back. He's overly prepared today. <laughs> <laughs> How far up your mountain of success will you go before that happens? Take a good look at yourself and make sure you're on solid footing. You'll find that you may have already come farther than you realize. Maybe it's time to reach back and give a hand to the next person struggling up the mountain. You'll find that you don't have to go very far before you've come a long way. And then you keep going forward, looking through the windshield. As I head up the mountain, all I see are hands reaching back to pull me forward. Just one more step. I also feel the hands of those behind me pushing and cheering for my success. Reaching back, it's the least I can do. I take the time to congratulate Michael Anderley on a book that jumps up and stays high in the ranks on a story well told, because everybody needs support. Just because you're in a different place on the climb doesn't mean that you don't need a few kind words. 20 Books to 50K exists because of Michael Anderley. Cabo San Lucas, where $35,000 a year is all you need to live comfortably. But when he reached that goal, he set a new goal, 
another new goal, and all of a sudden he's responsible for all of this. 35,000 like-minded souls earning the title of Indy every single day. Every time you tap that button, publish. This job isn't easy, but it is the most rewarding I've ever had. I would much rather work for me and be awarded that I myself have earned for me and my family. That is the control you have as an Indy. It can be a heavy burden at times, but it's also an awesome responsibility. We have people in here who have tried to take their own lives. I am happy that you're here with us today, that you failed in that. There are authors in here who have been homeless, others who have been incarcerated or spent long stretches in the hospital. There are those who have opened their homes to others, even, those, even if those others have four legs or feathers. And there are those who have never experienced any of that. Your life experiences, your research, your imagination have given you the fertile material to write compelling stories. That brings us here today, united in the singular purpose of writing and selling more books. As authors, we can always escape, we can always escape into the unlimited confines of our minds. Even when sales are down, <clears throat> there's always another story that must be written. And we need to be the ones to write it because no one knows the story like we do. You are critical to a story's success. It can't live without you. And then you put your baby up for sale. <laughs> we have to do that. We don't have patrons like the Medici family, so we have to take care of it ourselves. And we do, all by ourselves, because we work alone. But know that you are not alone. There are over a thousand of us in Samstown, Las Vegas, right here, right now, working independently to climb the mountain of success, a mountain that is infinite in size with room for all. And we can climb it together. No one has to be left behind. No one who's willing to work hard at the right things. Presenters, panelists, and your fellow authors are hoping to fill gaps in knowledge so you can pick and choose what is best for you and your journey. That's the power of being an indie. We take responsibility. We have the freedom to decide what we want to do. And we get the rewards for our efforts. Besides writing a great story, that means little, learning a little marketing, writing some ads, bidding on keywords, paying your taxes, and all those cool adult things. No one is going to carry you in this business. But look at how many people are sharing, offering a hand to help you help yourself. You wouldn't be listening if you weren't willing to learn. This is a huge step in the journey to a higher level of professionalism. And this is your profession. Your investment to come here, your investment in time if you're watching from home, show your commitment to take this seriously. Don't half-ass what could be the best career of your life. You wouldn't be writing if you didn't love it. Now is the time to make those words work for you. I believe that nothing worth having is easily gotten. Your first book probably won't be your magnum opus, except that it takes practice and a continuous improvement mentality to get better. My personal goal is a single book that sells 100,000 copies. I have a ways to go because I don't think I've written that book yet. I make a little across a lot of books with the newest releases, earning good money right away, and then adding later to the revenue streams. I call it the blue collar approach to white collar money. <laughs> there would be no glitter on that gold if, it didn't, if we didn't help other people. Philanthropy is a part of our souls and judging by the people who are here today, we are not alone. Feel the hope, it's not sink or swim. Be energized by the positivity. Stand tall and be proud to be a member of this tribe. Peers, not prey. Compatriots, not competitors. A rising tide, lift by a thousand voices, celebrating success and riding the tide higher and higher. Together. Werewolves in love, spaceship ass, horse-drawn carriages, fecking clowns, a murder unsolved, talking cats, an endless parade of adventures. Stories in real life. Fiction and nonfiction. More than a job, it's a calling, a love for the written word. Your stories could provide an escape, an escape from the real world, or open the universe for a future engineer, or help a reader learn something new. 
So much opportunity, and all you have to do is put those words into the hands of the right readers. What the books look like, to how they read, to finding buy buyers who will love your work. That's what 20 Books Vegas hopes to accomplish. And we want you to take advantage of the, of the opportunities. There is no place like this, no other group like 20 Books to 50K. This, this conference, almost, almost done. This conference is a place to feel safe and focus on your way ahead. We've worked hard to keep 20 books drama free, so much so that we're where drama comes to die. <laughs> a horrible death and quick. Flaming, flaming death. It has zero business value, so don't waste your time. Invest your time in the endeavors that will deliver for your business. We believe that the 20 books conferences are as inclusive as humanly possible. I care that you are trying to write better words with each new sentence, sell one more book today than you did yesterday, manage your author business just a little bit better year over year, write the best book you can as quickly as you're capable of. That is your commitment to the opportunity that is self-publishing. That is your commitment to yourself. A rising tide lifts all boats. My name is Craig Martell and this is 20 Books Vegas. Craig tells me, I've got a little bit of thing, it's going to take five minutes. And so I'm looking at this number down here going, I'm going to, be having, I'm going to have to speak really, really fast. So hopefully everything is going on. We should soon see what's on my screen up here. Is this true? Yes? Uh, there we go. All right. My name, if you didn't know, is Michael Anderley. You will find me saying that in the elevators, no problem whatsoever, because I'll say, hi, I'm Mike. They're, usually the response is, well, we know that. But that is what it is. So let me go through the basics. This is what I hear a lot of times. Uh, you will probably recognize this. What is the 20 books to 50K story? How did it go? I'm going to go really quick. In between books two and three, books two, one, and two, I've gone. I've been making around $7.5 on average a day by the books. In Cabo San Lucas, if we moved the money we had in Texas in that home and we moved it to Cabo, we could live on $1,000 a month. In Texas, with a paid off home, I would have been paying $1,000 a month in taxes didn't really like that concept. So that's the 20 books. I calculated it out. If I could make 20 books at seven and a half dollars a day, I could make $50,000 a year. I could retire my wife, who I didn't ask if she wanted to be retired. <laughs> kind of an oversight on my part. But that is where the 20 books to 50K comes from. Next, what is the, the next question is always, what does LMBPN stand for? And it is actually London, <laughs> I see here Las Vegas, uh, actually, no, this is what I wanted to say real quick. Las Vegas, London, Australia, Bali, Edinburgh, we have been to all of these places around the world giving out to fellow authors. We're really proud to have done it, but in 2020, we will only be here again next year. We needed a break, so please come back. What do the initials LMVPN mean? The short answer is London, Milan, Barcelona, Paris, New York. It was something I put together for my wife because she's into fashion. We reused those things and realized that only one of the cities needed to change from Madrid to Milan in order to act Milan to Madrid in order to be able to say it's top, you know, top publishing companies in the world. And then therefore we use and change the cities as we need to. Let's get right into the business. I got up here on stage last year and said, we're looking to do 400 titles in this year. The answer is we will be short that 400 goal. We've learned a lot. I can strategically, we have 400 books on the docket. We could not get 400 books out. We acquired approximately 100 books in the summer and quickly realized, because it's Mike effing Bray, who got me to get part of this. And for those who've seen the Craig and Mike show, and I talked about the gentleman with the black cowboy hat, he's right over there. Please harass the crap out of him this week, and it would please me to no end. So do that for me. I'll do this and keep doing this for you. <laughs> so on the 400 books, we did not or will not have ended up publishing. We will finish with the year somewhere around 340. Some of those titles will have been uh, what I'm calling reverse omnibus, where I actually put in, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> where I, I put three books into one, release the one, and later next year I'm gonna break them back into three. That's the reverse you'll know of the box set. 
If you want to know more, I've got to, you know, pretty much ask my questions tomorrow night, 10 a.m. in the Cinemark Theater with popcorn and Pete, did I say a.m.? Oh, crap. So sorry. It is at night. Won't you be surprised? Won't they be surprised? <laughs> so one of the things that going to 400 books forced our company to do is look into new technologies. And I'm going to show and display some of those here with you. Uh, but part of it is also marketing. We're going to use algorithms when to use people. On the marketing and the algorithms themselves, we have uh, a small team that handles the marketing across something like 50 plus series. However, we're using press design as the ability to go back and make sure that we drip feed all of the series. So that's been our goal for the last six months, is figuring out how do we do the marketing for everything in the company without it becoming too much of a burden overall. So if you'd like to check out Press Design, please do. David Beers is somewhere between here and Cannery Row. You might talk to him. He's got a, a beard. You can't miss him. <laughs> editing and quality control. We are having to move forward in the editing part our editing team did over two million words of editing in August. It just about freaking killed them. And so we've been looking at it. In Frankfurt, we found some AI-driven editing potential. It was all shown for nonfiction. But in short, what it will do is you take your book, you put it into the algorithm, and you give it the editing, the edited version that you approved, and you put it into the algorithm, and it learns how to edit to you or us or somebody else. So that's what we're looking into. We don't really think it's there yet. So we talked about the Ask Me Anything, and I have it at 10 p.m. right here. So one of the things that I'd like to talk about is a little bit of the fun stuff. And the fun stuff to me is how are we taking technology and using it in a slightly different way. For instance, marketing video, what it's going to do. Anybody around here play video games? Yeah? <laughs> Any of you play with the Unreal Engine? Any of you thought to take the Unreal Engine, build an advertising city, it's kind of like the Guns N' Roses, sort of, but I'd like to give you a little pre preview of some stuff that we're doing here at LMBPN on the side of that game engine, and you will notice inside, inside there will be, I sure hope it comes back up, otherwise we're just not really going to show very well. Ah, nope, I hear noise. have some of our books along the side. You'll see our branding on there. The hologram was one of our 3D characters that was on one of our book covers. But in all of this, we're building this 3D city so that we can show something really cool with advertising. So that's just a piece of the Unreal Engine marketing that we're doing here at Element the End. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit more about our publishing status of Opus X. We talked about this last year. Opus X is going wide. And this is the new, and I'll talk a little bit about it a little bit later about the hybrid stuff, but this is our effort to understand how to take somebody who's at the pinnacle of his personal success and ego gratification and make him a nobody again. <laughs> Therefore, we chose me to do this. We'll figure out what's going on with that one. The first book was released November 2nd, which, well, November 1st, technically. Um, but this particular piece, because I'm getting off of it, was for Kirthier and Gambit. Since they did this four years ago, we've done over 1.2 billion pages in KENP. Kind of a nice number. We've done, we have now over 600 titles. We have over 200 audiobook titles that we ourselves have done. We've done 100 additional titles with Dreamscape, with Tantor, with Podium. And Dreamscape has, uh, they're here. If you get a chance, meet them. Oh, uh, oh, well, actually, all of them are here. <laughs> Over 60% monthly income right now is KU Pages Red. My calculations the last time I did this were still between half and 1% of all. There we go. I don't know what the. Uh, hello. <laughs> of uh, all KNP and Amazon. So, why would we go wide? What's the point of doing that? We need to grow into new areas. You can saturate the KU market. You can also produce books, produce series that don't hit in KU. So we need to scale. We're becoming a hybrid publisher. And I don't mean hybrid from the traditional versus indie or bookstores and digital. I actually mean wide versus exclusive. So there's going to be new strategies, new tactics. 
And these things we can talk about. We have a white paper, we'll speak to in a minute, but we also are going to be able to talk about this again. And what happens if some of your products don't take in KU? Now, I understand there's a philosophical difference in this, in, in it being you feel like you can sleep easier at night. I recognize there are multiple ways. That wasn't the reason we chose to do it, but there are viable other reasons in order to be wide. So I talked about it. We'll test me because my ego can take it, apparently. And we produced a white paper with the partners of where we're at right now with the first book just released. And part of that white paper is explaining why did we do this, what is it about that we wanted to accomplish, and some of the methodologies that we've done. We also talk about this series being one story, 12 books, 18 months. We are on every six weeks, we are releasing a book. These books are 120,000 words apiece. The editing alone drives me freaking nuts. <laughs> but we are pushing that because in my mind, in my understanding, I can't go wide with one book, with two, I can technically, but in order to go, for example, on Apple, you really need to kind of have that first 99 cent, that first free, in order to get people moving along. And so, well, we need three books, so we're moving it. So we're in this test for at least 18 to 21 months, which means in next year and the following year, we'll be back telling you more of what's going on, what did we learn? And so I'd like to give you just a little bit here. So this, that example was two, but we're gonna have just a little bit here. <laughs> um, of what was produced to push this marketing. You saw what we're doing in the game engine. Now I'd like to show you what we're doing with Gene Malika Studios out of New York. Let's see what happens this time. We're not done yet. So, you hold on. No, no, we're not done. Oh, no. So we're here to tell everybody who thinks they understand how to do book marketing, we know how to do book marketing. So the next thing I want to go into real quick is, these are some of the marketing aspects of the uh, white paper. We will have this white paper at opsxseries.com slash white paper. Uh, Steve, sorry, I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> so if we could put that up there, that would be fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay, I know you, one minute, no, mother, mother. <laughs> you took 10 minutes, you told me five. Relationships. Please, here are the most important parts of what you're gonna get out of here because all, almost all, of these uh, sessions are gonna be recorded. So, grab relationships. If you want printing help, you want things in bookstores, Ingram Spark is here. Do you wanna get into libraries? It's a really good solid market. It's also good for your marketing. Well, or bookstores. Publishers Weekly is here, they're over here. I don't know where Robin is, she's there somewhere. <laughs> You gotta nail down that email marketing, BookBub, BookFunnel, who has it, Written Word Media, they're here. You don't have to go and chase them down at Book Expo America, almost a total waste of time. Amazon Advertising, Amazon Advertising is here. Audio Partners for Distribution, Find a Way in ACX are here. Audio Partners to license your IP to, Dreamscape, Podium, Tantor, and Audible are here. Exclusive with Amazon questions, well guess what? Amazon KDP, in fact, Amazon Audio ACX 14 
Amazon reps are here, bug the crap out of them. <laughs> Going wide, Google Play is here, Publish Drive is here, Draft to Digital is here. Get a hold of these people. Craig is going to have, they're going to be bringing them back up on stage. Do you need help with editing, design, publicity, and more? Readsy is here. You got ARCs, you got group promo, collect reader emails, book funnel is here. You need graphics for your sales ads and social media, book brush is here. Let's talk about relationships part two because he's telling me blah, blah, blah. Collaboration partner, universe, printing buddy. That's what we've always been able to do, but they're here. Find somebody, they're right there, they're right in your other room over there too. Speakers, do not leave after the presentation if you have questions about one of the speaker presentations. Go up there and talk to them. That's why they're here. They don't get money for this. They're doing it because they care to give back. Research geeks, and you know who you are, your people are here as well. Thank you. Thank you for Las Vegas. 20 books to 50K, 2019. Let's do something awesome. Thank you, thank you. And actually, we don't have a break because uh, our intro is only going to be like 10 minutes total. So uh, now that we've spent our 10 minutes, uh, if I can get the uh, high-powered authors on the stage, please, for the high-powered author panel. Thank you. I don't suppose I should. Yeah, no, no, yeah.